Hey there guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Level Design Essential series. In today's video we are going to be taking an introduction to lighting inside of Unreal Engine 4. So having said that, we are going to be taking a look at some of the different types of light inside of Unreal Engine 4 and then some of the settings which are going to give you a little bit of control and power over the way the look of the lighting is. So those settings are going to be things like the intensity, the color, the attenuation, and all of that good stuff. And by the end of today's video, we should understand how the lights work inside of Unreal Engine 4 and be able to use them to make some really beautiful scenes inside of Unreal Engine. So what we're going to do then is we're going to dive straight in and start off by trying to explain the four different lighting types. So if you go over to the placing mode inside of Unreal Engine 4 and then going to the lighting tab, you are going to notice we have four different types of light. The first one is directional light, second is point light, spotlight, and lastly your skylight. And each and every one of these are going to do something completely different and they're going to have a different purpose. But all of those are really important and you will use them. So what I'm going to do is try and explain each one of these, but what I do recommend is you click the little question mark here to open up some of the documentation for each of these so you can get a more of an advanced look at those. What I'll also be doing is doing a full lighting series inside of Unreal Engine 4, which will be up on the channel at a later date. Anyway, so starting off from the top, we have our directional light. This is directional and is going to act like the sun, essentially. So what it is, is it's essentially going to be a light in your scene that is going to cover the whole of the world. And if you rotate that, all of the shadows are going to move. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now by default, I actually have one of these in my level, and I can find that in the world outliner in the top right. And in here, it should just be called light source. And note, when I select this, you're going to see I am then able to rotate this or move it, but the main control that you need with this is your rotation. So if I was to go and rotate this, you will notice all of the shadows for the entire level are going to move because this directional light is coming down from the sky in a, in a direction and casting shadows. So that's essentially what it's going to be do. Essentially, you are going to be using this to mimic the sun. Moving on, we have a point light, and a point light is going to be like a regular light bulb. And what I mean by that is, it is going to shine light from all directions, literally going everywhere. So if you want to place one of these, it's really straightforward. So if you want to place one, just click it and drag, and then from there you can place it into your scene. And moving this is as simple as just using the normal transformation tool. So you can move this left, right, and so on, and place it exactly where you need it. Now, what you will notice is I've actually placed a couple of lamps. If you do want these lamps and want to place them into your level, they are part of the starter content in your content browser. So go to starter content, props, and then you've got lamp ceiling and lamp wall. Now this point light is perfect for this lamp at the ceiling because it points li emits lights in, uh, lights in all directions and you can really easily use this to light up the whole of your scene and it looks really nice. So this could be used for everything from normal lights to making lava emit lights or buttons or anything like that. It's entirely up to you. But what you need to know is that this is going to emit light in all directions. Whereas Spotlight, very similar, but instead what it's going to do is emit light in a cone in a certain spot. So I've just clicked and dragged and dropped one of these into my scene, and you can see as soon as I do this, we have this cone coming out from the light. And this is essentially telling us where the light is going to go. And with this, I can move on and then I can rotate this and I can place it wherever I need. Now I've got this little lamp here. What I'm gonna do is drag this down and move it into my lamp and make it look a bit like a spotlight. 
like it should do. And you're going to notice light is only going to come out of that main cone. And if I press G to get rid of all of these icons, you can see that looks exactly how it should. Light just comes out of there. So you might even want to use this for this so you don't have any light going into there casting a shadow. But for the most part, hopefully you guys should understand exactly what this does. Now the last type of light that we have is our skylight. And what this is going to do, if you drag it into our scene, is allow you to capture light from our environment and then just reflect it onto all of our objects. Now with this selected, if I turn my intensity up, you can see it really makes our environment pop and it brights it up a little bit. Now this is something that you're going to play around with and is something that you might not have in all of your levels, but just read the documentation for that and have a little play around. Now that I've gone over what the four different types of lights are, I also want to take a look into some of the main settings. So what I'm going to do is select my point light that I've already created, or you can just create another one and then click it. And in the details panel, we can go through some of these settings. So starting off from the very top, the main one is our intensity. That is essentially how bright our light is going to be. Now you can use these sliders to move as left or right to control the power, or you can manually type in a number. And if you have your mouse over this, you can see an example of how you can define a number with real world lighting. So you can see here, 1700 lumens corresponds to a one, uh, 100 watt light bulb. A 100 watt light bulb is what you'd use in a normal house. So if you want that, just drop in 1700 just like that. Going on from there, beneath that you have your light color. If you select this, this is going to give you a color picker and from there you can move around and play around with the color. So if you want to make this light blue, you can, or green, yellow, purple, red, it's entirely up to you. Now one thing I do recommend when you're working with lights inside of Unreal Engine 4 is if you want them to be realistic, do not turn your saturation up really high, otherwise it just won't look realistic. And you control things like your saturation down here, and you can see that's just going to move it on your color picker. But really what you need to do is just have a little experiment with this and get the color that you're after. And I'm going to leave this one at a nice subtle blue. And then the next one that you have underneath this is your attenuation radius. And what this is, is essentially how far your light is going to reach. And as I move this up and down, you can see this sphere around my light is going to move. So if I expand this, our light will be able to go as far as the walls out here. Now what you will need to do to make this show up properly is also turn up your intensity, your brightness. But for now, I'm just going to leave this so it only goes about this far. So you can see if I have it here, it only goes this far on the rock. And if I turn it up, I can just stretch it out even more. But what it doesn't do is change the brightness, just the distance the light can reach to. Now, what I'm not going to do is go through all of these settings, just the important ones. So having said that, what I'm going to do is skip down to the next setting, which I'm going to cover which is cast shadows. So do you want this light to be able to cast shadows? For example, I've used this one here and we get this shadow up here that we don't like. What you might wanna do is turn this off just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then with that, you have a bit more control over your lighting. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover for the settings for the point light. Moving on to the spotlight, these settings are very similar. You have your intensity, your light color, your shadows, and all of that good stuff. What you also have here is your inner cone angle and your outer cone angle, and you can use this to control how wide your spotlight is or how narrow, uh, how narrow it is just play around with that. Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover for lighting in today's video. I hope you do enjoy it. Just play around with some different types of lights as you can see I have done here. But once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.
This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.